and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all super well. I hope you're keeping safe. I hope your friends and family are safe during this very, very surreal time. I'm here to take your mind off things today because we are dyeing my hair again. As you can see, my hair is pretty much faded. It's a very, very nice, like, white, ashy blonde. Um, obviously, I've still got kind of like purpley roots, but I'm going to utilise those today for my look. Um, but yeah, the last time I done my hair was when I created that amazing sunset hair dye look, which I absolutely loved. It actually faded really quickly, um, but it managed to neutralise the green that was left on my hair underneath. So I'll pop a link to my previous video. If you just watch the beginning, you'll see my hair is like a vibrantly kind of yellowy green. And I kind of popped a bit of a yellow conditioner mix on top of the green, made it more vibrant, but basically, if you look at a colour wheel, they say when you dye your hair, you should move around the colour wheel because it's easier to do that than to flip from like opposite sides of the colour wheel. I've done a lot of research on colour wheels and hair dye. I'll pop a couple of links below that are super interesting. If you guys want to read up about it and you're looking to change your hair, it's probably easier for you to read it than me to explain. But by using the oranges and the reds and the pink and the yellow, which are very close to, to, to kind of green on the colour wheel, they're like, they follow it round. It goes like green, yellow, into orange, into red. Because I kind of followed that pattern, it's basically neutralised the green. And like, wow, my hair is like so like white and bright and clean. Like, it's crazy. So, I'm due another colour. I really like the fact that I did like an ombre look last time, so I'm going to do an ombre look today. And I'm actually going to be using Manic Panic. I'm going to be mixing a couple of other colours in with the with the dyes, but the main base colours of this look is Manic Panic. Just because I want this colour to last. The hair salons are not open anytime soon, so yeah, I want my colour to last. Um, so I've got Manic Panic in Pretty Flamingo. I've never ever tried this colour out, so I'm super excited to give it a go. I think I might add in a little bit of the Unicorn Hair Lime Crime in Neon Peach, just because I want to add in a bit of neon colour to it, and potentially some Neon Moon from Arctic Fox. I've got that on the side just in case. And then, for the top, I'm also going to use Hot Hot Pink from Manic Panic, and Lilacs from Manic Panic. I might kind of combine the two because this is very blue. Um, and obviously we don't want to stain my hair blue again, do we guys? Um, so yeah, so I've got a couple of colours in front of me. I'm going to stop talking now. Um, let's get dyeing my hair. I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. Grab a cup of tea, grab a coffee, grab a drink and relax. Let's get going. Take my life for granted Say a bunch of stuff you never meet, yeah
vibrant as I want. I don't know. It looks quite pastel-y. I was kind of hoping it was going to be quite neon because of the neon peach that I put in from Lime Crime. I don't know. We shall see. But I love the purple. The purple looks amazing. I hope it washes out really nice. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave this on my hair for about an hour. Then I will wash it out. I will style it and I will come back and show you guys the finished look. So keep watching. I'm back and this is the finished look what do we think let me just get my mirror in front of me just so I can have a look so I have to say it was a little bit of a fail because I was kind of hoping that the ends of my hair were gonna go more of like a porridge I want it to be like a pink and an orange porridge I've seen people with like really vibrant porridge hair and I kind of wanted to recreate it, but it's kind of not gone as I'd planned. It's a bit more like pinky red. It's not very neon, um, but maybe because the base of the colour was the Pretty Flamingo from Manic Panic, which isn't neon. But I was kind of hoping that the neon peach from Lime Crime was going to like add to it. And like that's really kind of orange and pigmented, but yeah, it didn't do what I was hoping it was going to do. I mean, it looks cute. The only other thing I have to say is, sadly, it's patchy. I washed my hair under very, very cold water, um, just so that it would hold the colour in. Um, that's a good tip there. But, I mean, it's held the colour in, but like, it is a little bit patchy. I don't know whether you guys can see here, it's a little bit patchy there, along up here. Like, I used the purple brush with some dye on to kind of blend the two colours together. I even used my fingers, and normally, like, that is how I blend hair dye normally. And I didn't do, I didn't change my technique or anything. Like, I really massaged the dye into my hair really well, but it just didn't really blend very well. Now, I don't know whether that's just manic panic hair dye. It's very thick, 
um it's yeah i don't know i've never really used manic panic before so i don't know whether that's something that is the issue with manic panic uh that is a bit patchy like even down here it's patchy i didn't even mix it with any conditioner or anything so yeah it's it's nice and pigmented on the ends but like here and i did worry about that because when i was like massaging the dye in it was going quite white and foamy um yeah i don't know it's sad really it's not very it's not a very even blend it's actually worse on this side let me show you it's a lot more patchier on this side look at that like what is going on it's gutting really um yeah it's a shame because the color is the color is actually nice even though it's not what i wanted i do like the color but it's a shame that it's patchy so I don't know whether that's because I mixed Manic Panic with Lime Crime Unicorn Hair, but even the top here was just two Manic Panic colours, and even that is not very really blended well into the um, kind of ready colour on the ends. Like look, like look at that. Like normally it blends really, really well. I think the dye is just so thick that. Obviously, normally when I blend hair colours, if I'm doing this, if it's quite a creamy, creamier consistency, like a more of a watery creamy, that was like thick creamy. Like when you lift the pot upside down, it doesn't move. Like it's too thick. Whereas like Lime Crime is like creamy, and but it's not too runny. It's like in between. Like when I blend those colours, if I use my fingers... It tends to blend really, really well, but I feel like the colour just didn't really budge when I was blending how I normally blend. So yeah, I haven't even looked at the back, to be honest. Actually, the back doesn't look too bad. So yeah, a little bit disappointing. Hopefully, when I actually wash my hair with shampoo and conditioner, when I wash it, it will kind of... Because a lot of the colour is still in this when the water was running. It was still running like purple, so I didn't completely let it run clear. But hopefully when I wash my hair, I, like the, these darker bits will kind of blend into these lighter bits when I actually shampoo it. Because when you shampoo it with conditioner, some of the dye comes out and you kind of blend it into the other colours. So hopefully when I do that and when it fades a bit, it will look a bit um, better. But for now, I mean, it will look cute if I curl it. Having it straight isn't really that great. But I mean, if I tuck it behind my ears, I mean, it's just that bit there really that's really bad. But this side's actually all right when I tuck it behind my ear um so yeah I love the color actually it's different and also I was like oh what top can I pick out of my wardrobe to like finish this video with but I saw my Versace blazer and I was like oh my god it literally matches it how cool is that so yeah I mean it's a fab hair look I love the color I've not really done anything like this before in like as in like the deep purple into this color but i have to say i don't know if i'll be using manic panic again like normally when i use arctic fox lime crime crazy color this never happens so i do think it's the fact that i use manic panic because that's the only different thing within this hair dye video that i've done um but yeah it's a shame but hopefully when it fades it will even itself out and when i shampoo and condition it but yeah Hope you guys enjoyed this video and kind of a little review on Manic Panic really because I've never really used the dye before. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be using it again if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, please let me know your thoughts on this video. I really hope you liked it and enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did and any comments please comment below. I'll try and answer your questions and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in another video very, very soon. Peace out.